Let's talk traveling. Mm -hmm. Because goddamn, whatever I go to your page, it's like you're in this country, that country, that country. That's the goal. <laughs> How many countries have you been to? In the last two, year and a half, two years, 15. In general, what's it like when you go to a different country and come back to the States? Depending where you go. Mm -hmm. um, you Well, first, once you get there, you're going to notice how... Um, Hmm, I mean, how the best way to put this? I think I know where you're going, but go ahead and go. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, you was a king. Uh -huh. You was a fucking king over yeah. there. Yeah. Everybody is catering to you 100%. Mm -hmm. And like, especially if you're just from America, mm -hmm. but then you're American and you're black. Mm. And a lot of these places, they love black people. They love black men. They, You was a king, yeah. 100%. Are you a passport, bro? <laughs> I got a lot of stamps on my passport, brother. <laughs> okay, leave it at that. Yeah, I got a lot of stamps yeah, yeah, yeah. on my passport. Good answer. Good answer. Yeah. Good answer. Um, okay, so overall, what's your take on the whole passport bro, bro movement? I don't see nothing wrong with it. Yeah. If you don't have a lady at home, mm -hmm. go out there because the women gonna treat you way better everywhere. Mm. Like even if it wasn't nothing like sexual, mm -hmm. just women in general. Yeah. Like general, they cater. They cater to in them cultures. They cater to the man. Mm -hmm. So you're gonna be taken care of regardless. You're gonna be yeah. fed. You're gonna be everything. Yeah, yeah. Like and so, then so for right. them, like this America, y'all got the shit fucked up because hoes here don't actually think they're hoes or don't think they're prostitutes. Cause Yo, because <laughs> because you can go there. $15 and go get it. You bitches here want forty dollars and you ain't doing half the shit that they gonna do. And, and get and get yo, they and they get and y'all feel disrespected if somebody calling you a prostitute, but yo. you you're if you're doing something and you want money in return, you're a prostitute. Over there, it's straight they, to the fucking point. Over, over there, it's straight to the point. And they fucking they don't they don't they not offended about nothing because they know what the fuck it is. Y'all get offended because y'all trying to portray something that you're not. Bro, you want you you're you don't want to be what you are. Be yourself, pussies. I say the exact same thing. My one of my slogans, I gotta get it on the shirt, is day day love the hoes. And the reason why I say that is because hoes, real hoes, live in their truth. Yes, they do. I oh know some God. real hoes. I that, know some real hoes here. And they, exactly. And they live in their truth. But then on the flip side, we're talking about passport bros. You got women that'll be mad at dudes and be like, oh, you're just going out there to fuck with them prostitutes. But yet, you literally got fucked for a nice meal in a bag. What's the difference? Or forty dollars. That forty dollars special. Yes. They'll do it every time. Like, and they get mad if they get mad at prostitutes at other countries or prostitutes here. You'll have a chick that'll be like, "Oh, she's a hooker. She's a whore." You are too. She's you're not, just you're just sprinkling glitter on shit. That's all it is. Easily. I see and it's the like, same shit. <laughs> I don't want to stand these women, I but know. I mean men too, because men go mm -hmm. do what they do too. Mm -hmm. Whatever your preference is, you go do whatever the fuck you're going to do. But where do you but, think that came from today where it's normalized? Pro they're, they're trying to transform prostitution. It's still prostitution mm -hmm. and they're normalizing it. But then they'll get upset if you come at them in that way or straight up say this is prostitution. Yeah, but y'all but y'all the ones normalize it because mm -hmm. all y'all talk about is fucking get some money. Mm -hmm. So it's like fucking pull that's, a bag. But, that's prostitution. You look up the definition of prostitution. You are a prostitute. Mm -hmm. So... You can't really be mad at that. Yeah. And out there, and I'm going to be honest with y'all. I'm going to be completely honest. Please do. You here, you want a bag, couple thousand dollars. A f mm -mm -mm. It's crazy. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, bro, a fucking five, a five there's a 10 here. Mm, so it's like right. so bitch stay in your place mm. like in, in the most respectful way stay yeah. in your place you can't yeah. be mad at them they look better than you and they cheaper than you so right. what how you hating you just hating you have at this no, point you have no leverage to no fight leverage that. at all yeah. like yeah. Yeah, cause if you were to get dropped off in America what you okay let's do this a chick say, mm -hmm. I can't fuck with a dude if he can't pay my bills. Or I can't fuck with a dude if he don't give me at least $500 out here right yeah go to these go to the DR 
Okay, yeah, you cute in Concord, North Carolina. Five hundred dollars gonna get you ten of them. You cute, you cute <laughs> in 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 Glen Burnie, Maryland, Annapolis, Maryland. Go to the DR. Yes, and they're gonna make you look like nothing. Were they tens? Yes, out here easily. Go to the DR and think if you're still gonna get a hundred dollars a pop. Yes, and a lot of women, a lot of women don't like it because if they come to these certain places with their guy, mm -hmm. the focus is not on. Getting the women, the mm -hmm. women, it's all women there. Mm -hmm. The focus is on the men. They're not the hot topic anymore mm -hmm. when they go to these places. Home, you might be hot. You go right. to the other place, you ain't hot because mm -hmm. it's women that look better than you. Yeah. You think the black guys on the resort that you go to is going to want you? No, they're coming out here for that, not mm -hmm. you. So yeah. when you go to these places, you feel left out, mm -hmm. yeah. which is understandable. Yeah. But these guys coming here for that. Right. They're not coming here for this. Yeah, it's, it's definitely, it's... Man, the, the the whole perception of, of, around a lot of this shit in America is definitely very misconstrued. Yes. My um, my homie, <laughs> he was just in DR like two weeks ago, and I go to work. He was my co. No, he works at the gym I used to work at, but I still work out at. And I go there. He's like, bro, day. And I I never even been to the DR. He's like, bro, I would, bro, <laughs> two hundred dollars in the DR, bro, a king. A king, bro. King. He's like, bro. I I've never. That was the greatest week of my life. Two hundred dollars, and that's all you need, cause yeah. your money is worth more, and that shit stretches and go a long way, bro. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like your your forty dollar hair might be might be enough for about three, four, three or four of them. There, you never know. Yeah, and that's what he was saying. Like shit, you, you shit out here. You need at least, and mind you, we're talking about chicks we never met. Out there, forty dollars straight to the point. Out here, a hundred dollars for a date, all that shit. And they're gonna decide if they want to go on another date. Mm -hmm. That's it's another hundred dollars, like, fifty for drinks. Like back back in the day, <laughs> like back in the day, we could have, we used to could get y'all with that. Oh, we just meant to tear you up. Yeah, like yeah, now, yeah. that with the boy that them rappers, them female rappers, fucking the game up fucking for us right now. Y'all want a lot of bro. money. Y'all want a lot of shit these days. <laughs>